It's winning the lottery, <laughs> but uh, each group changes, each syndicate changes. So the first syndicate was a group of people that worked in a, in a, a supermarket, the second was hospital workers, and the third one is a group of people that work in a stately home. It's sort of downstairs, you know, it's the... It's the groomsmen, it's yes, the, the guard. Yes, the people who would do the lottery. That's right. That yeah. People who need to do the that's lottery. right, because they're broke. Yes. <laughs> well, yes. And what have you learned about doing... I, I presented the lottery programme on a Saturday night yeah. for many years. Um, and oddly enough, of all the people I made into squillionaires, not one of them ever ri written to me, <laughs> yeah. sent me anything. <laughs> nothing. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Eamon, for pressing that button. Or... Do you know why? Why? Because it doesn't necessarily bring you happiness. You know, it's great. The euphoria of winning the lottery lasts for about three to six days, and then the responsibility sets in. The responsibility of what to do with that kind of amount of money, of you know, who to give it to, who to give it to mm. in your family. It's caused kind of breakups in families. It's caused disharmony in workplaces. Which is all very sad, but it's great drama. It's, it's great drama. You three. Yeah. It's I mean, <laughs> I mean, you can't write about happy lottery winners. <laughs> no. There's not much story in that.